Churchville. And I want to continue our motorhome series today by taking you on a little bit of a road trip and a brand new 2020 Georgetown 36B5 with my family. Today, before we take off, I want to take you around the motorhome and show you a couple safety tips to do each time that you leave for a road trip. The first thing that I always recommend that people do is take a, take a check on your air pressures. Now, the Georgetown here has valve extenders, which means I can check the air pressure of the inside uh, tire without taking the outside one off. This is important because most blowouts are attributed to low air pressures. The other thing that you always want to make sure you do before you take off is make sure your jacks are up, your slides are closed, and your awning is, is secured to the side of your camper. In addition, you want to make sure that all of your baggage doors are secure in place. Inside this triple slide bunkhouse, the great thing about this floor plan is you can access the kitchen while you're driving down the road. So if anybody needs a drink, it's an easy access to the refrigerator. Here with me today is Aaron, Gemma, and Levi, family. We're going to go on a little road trip down to the local park. restroom, one wants a drink. So we pulled over into a nice little park and one of the great advantages of the motorhome is that you can set up very, very quickly with these. Over here to my left in the Georgetown is the leveling system. With two pushes of a button, one to turn it on and one to hit auto level, the entire camper's leveled itself in less than 30 seconds. Once I'm done with that, I can come back here up to the monitor panel and I can open the slide with a push of a button. Each slide room is going to take a few seconds to open, and while I'm doing that, somebody can access the bathroom, somebody can access the bedroom, somebody can access the refrigerator. So as we work through all the different slide rooms here, it's all with just a push of a button. And each slide room will run out independently controlled. These are electric slide rooms on the Georgetown. It's a hydraulic jack system. So each one of these opens up. At this point, you've only, you've only spent just a moment uh, to get everything open, and you're almost ready to camp already. Now, on my touch screen, home screen, I can control the generator. I can turn on lights and awning lights. I can see how much fuel I have. I can run out slides, and I can control my awning. So I can open my awning from right inside, and we're ready to go. Back through the Georgetown, if I want to fire up the TV, we can watch TV while we're pulled over on the side of the road. We've got a nice big 18 cubic foot refrigerator, uh, plenty of storage for snacks, so I don't have to stop at McDonald's, I don't have to stop at Burger King, I can bring everything right with me. And then back here in the bedroom area, uh, the 36B5 is a great triple slide bunkhouse. So I've got bunks here, I've got a queen bed in the back, and I've got a queen bed up front that will fold down as well. So you could sleep eight to 10 people in this comfortable. The 36B5, one of the best features of this floor plan is that Liam and Gemma both have their own individual areas. Uh, bunkhouses with TVs. And then what Aaron and I really love about this floor plan is that we have two separate bathrooms. The kids have their own bathroom here, with a shower, toilet, and vanity. And then we have a master here in the back. One of my favorite features about the Georgetown 36B5 is that I've got a raised rail frame with 22 and a half inch tires, which gives me a full passenger storage so I can take a lot of things with me when I go camping. It also improves the ride. 
along with the awning that comes out, slide toppers, and a fiberglass roof. This makes Georgetown such a great value. The Georgetowns all have a backup camera and side view cameras controlled by the monitor right here in the middle of the dashboard. The great thing about the backup camera is when I put it in reverse, I can see everything that's going on behind me without activating anything. Just putting it in reverse will show me what's behind me. So I can safely back up. And once we're in a position where we can pull forward, put it in drive and it automatically turns off on the monitor. As we are leaving the parking lot, when I put on my side view cameras, uh, just by turning on my turning signals. And once it's safe, you can see the, um, the side view camera here. It'll give you a good um, image of what's on your inside cut to make sure that you don't scrape anything with the inside wall as you turn your camera. One thing about motorhomes is they sweep a little bit. It will take a little bit getting used to driving, but in a Class A motorhome, the great thing is, is that you're sitting right over top of the front axles. So it really helps the cut, and believe it or not, they have a tighter turning, turning radius than a Class C motorhome. driving on that trip, you're going through a national park, you got a great view of, of all the things that you're going to be encountering on your adventure with your family. joining myself and my family on our mini adventure today. For more information on this Georgetown or any of our other motorhomes at Wilkins RV, visit us online at WilkinsRV.com.